Yo, what is up guys, Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Now, today I bring you a team by Mr. Kurtastic, Mr. Kurta Boombastic. And he's bringing us a team with uh, some, some spies. There's really not nothing here that's like Screams Showcase. But there's something that I like playing and I'm going to want to play with it. And that's Meteor Beam Glamora. So, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of what I'm going to be doing with this team. And hopefully you guys enjoy and uh <laughs> understand what i'm trying to do with this team all right so here's the plan guys we're gonna be going for the glamora i know i'm i am a very good artist here's glamora yeah this is glamora and the plan is to go and use meteor beam so that way he hits the enemy and we get a plus one right that, that's that's the game plan here with glamora is to just go for a plus one and that's what we want to do because i love meteor beam and that's what that, that, that's the whole plan then they just getting and you could just go for you know the the, the sludge bombs. They could go for the 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 me the uh, earth powers right after. You just you know all that stuff. That, that that's basically the the game plan here with with Gamora. All right, and if if that just doesn't work out, we always have Goldengo here. We have the the cheese. Yeah, this Goldengo. He has little legs. Hello, it's Goldengo. And he can just make it rain with his attacks. And then we have the funny the funny little bird. Murkrow, his little with his little hat. It's a little. It's a little bird. He's got a. He's got a. He's got a little. A little hat. And he's gonna. He's gonna put in the uh, the tailwind. Right. He's gonna put in the tailwind for Goldengo. Right here. This is Goldengo. Oh, there you go. That's Goldengo. And he's gonna hit the enemy as well with make it rains. So that that is that is the other plan. And if that doesn't work, we also have Volcarona here. Now there's Volcarona. Hello, there's Volcarona with his little with, with her little little wings. So I, I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm drawing anymore. There's Volcarona, right? There's Volcarona right there. Hello, there's Volcarona. And we're gonna have Volcarona here. Just uh. Do a little quiver dance, you know, little dance, and it's gonna do, you know, fire, fire stuff. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna fire everywhere. And yeah, that's that's the game plan there. That's the game plan. Now that you guys know my game plan, let's go back to the team, shall we? So yeah, we have Rillaboom here as well. We have Taras here to also, you know, bring up the team. You got an Intimidator, you got your uh, Grassy Surge Monkey to help you out here. Yeah, that's pretty much the team though. Not much else to say about the team besides just wanting to hit Meteor Beams. I just want to hit Meteor Beams. You guys have been in this channel for a while, you'll know that I really enjoy Meteor Beam as a move. And Glimora being one of the strongest Meteor Beam Pokemon that we have currently in this regulation, I'm going to try and hit it twice like I usually do. If you guys have been... Um, watching this channel for a while, you guys know that I love clicking me. If there's a meteor beam, I love clicking it twice, even if there's no power. I like trying to. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kerr, for the team. It is it is a fun, funky looky team. I really do enjoy the, the six that we're going to be playing with. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want more VGC content because it lets me know if you guys want more of this VGC content. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's just get straight into it and see what we can find. Oh yeah, the Poké Paste and the Rental will be in the description below, of course. Of course, let me let, let me just uh, remember to say that. Uh, but with that said, let's get um, some games in. Okay, guys, we are up against a Dozo team. Oh man, a Dozo team. Out of all the things we could have been up against. Uh, we have Kirk Crow though. Kirk Crow should be pretty good into this, yeah. Procro should be okay into this, so we shouldn't be in too much trouble. So how do we want to approach this though? We do have... Glimora kind of looks really good to keep around. Hmm. How do we want to approach this? I don't think I want Goldengo this game. He hits hard, but into this? I don't think we want it, so I might just go into Volker... Volkertrona, set up some Tailwind stuff. Maybe have Watora? No, Rillaboom in the back. Flimora looks really good here, though. 
Like it looks really strong here. So that's why I'm thinking about it here. How do we want to do this? Is it Volcrona or is it Glimora? Like is it Glimora or Tauros? Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with these four. I think with these four it's fine. We have Haze to deal with the Dozo. We just got to make sure that they don't just flat out take out the bird. Because if they take out the bird, then yeah, we're going to be in a little trouble. We need Rillaboom just to kind of stop it from like force a Terra on it. Which would be really, really nice. So that's kind of why I want it. But I also want to keep Glimora's Meteor Beam for one of the two. Either the, the Volcarona or the Thingy. Okay, so it's going to be these two. Okay. Not the worst. But not the best either. Because if we, like I said, if we lose our, our dude here, we're, we're not going to be very happy. How really do I want the Tailwind here? I think they want to focus this, right? We don't even have Protect, so we, we gotta think about this. I'm gonna go for a Quiver Dance and switch out. I don't know, I feel like they, they have to target Rurko here. I don't know if they have done those in the back. Like I said, if I lose my dude here, I'm gonna be very, very sad. So I'd rather not risk just for a Tailwind. And then have no way to deal with that uh, Dondozo. So we're gonna go with this and see what happens. I'm just hoping we're faster than Goldengo with the uh, Volcarona. Oh, he's going straight for the, the normal Terra, okay. Yep, okay. I don't want to lose my Glamora either, so I just want to switch into this. Are they going straight for the Volcarona instead? It might be, yeah. Uh... They burned it though. So that works for me. That's huge. Because that's their uh that's their Terra gun. Alright, cool. We're, we're we're faster than uh Goldengo at least. So that's at least good. Yeah, there's make it rain. Okay, nice. We take it pretty well, so I'm happy with that. I'm actually okay with this because he got burned, so that's gonna that's gonna bail me out here. Because I'm just gonna go for the wood hammer here. And go for a fiery dance because I I don't I don't know if that well I can't protect, so it's not like I have a choice. And there's no reason to go for fake up because we don't know if this thing is multi scale or inner focus. And I don't want to find out by trying to fake it out. So I'm going to go straight for the uh, damage instead with the wood hammer. Now that he has no. Uh... Cool. Is that just Dozo in the back? Oh no, it's Volcarona. Oh wow, that's enough to. <sighs> Got a crit. Yeah, they'll do it. They'll do it. That would a hundred percent do it. He didn't bring the dozo, so at least now we can um we can worry less about it. Is what I'm pretty much learning here. Please tell me we have Earth. Ooh, I think we do have Earth Power, so so we're uh, we're gonna go into Kurt here, and we're just gonna go for a Meteor Beam right off the bat. Let's just get straight into it. No funny business. We have Earth Power, so if Goldengo comes back in, I'm not worried. I'm abs absolutely not worried. Yeah, whatever. Bring out bring Goldengo back. Got lucky with that crit. Same body for crit, I guess. I I can't get lucky. That's just not allowed. Okay, that's fine too. That is absolutely fine. He should be banded though. There's no way he isn't. Okay. I'm gonna go for the Meteor Beam. Nice, okay. I just hit him. 
Okay, well, yeah, that's that's just how my luck goes. <laughs> yeah, that that that's usually how my my luck goes, right? So I'll just keep missing everything. That's just how my luck is. Okay, we got the tailwind going at least, but I I think we've lost too much resources to win this game now. We got hit by a crit, then we got hit by a, a thing. So we're we're really relying on Glamora right now. Glamora has to win this for me. I'm not too worried about the uh, ex extreme speeding <laughs> Dragonite because eventually he, he, he's gonna run out. He has to either switch out and get into another another move or something. Cause yeah, yeah there's this thing. Does he have any moves that can like flat out one shot Glamora? I don't think so. It might protect this thing, but it might it might be it might be um, choice specs. If it is, that might be a problem for me. I guess we brave bird this. I just go for Earth Power. Yeah. Okay, he stays. That's fine. No protect either, so this thing must be specs. Which is completely fine with me. Oh my god, is it sashed? <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just having really a, a really bad time today, okay? That's what's happening, is I'm just having a really bad day. <laughs> a really bad day, because that, that might have been a roll. I don't think that thing lives. I think that thing can actually go down. Oh boy. Oh boy. If I knew that was going to happen, I would have swapped into uh, Rillaboom. I just saw how much damage it did to the uh, mouse hold that I was like, oh, I mean, this is times two. This should KO, right? It KO'd the mouse hold. Uh, we'll have a way to take... Yeah, I think we just lose. Okay. Oh, GG. I got RNG'd to all heck. That's all you gotta know. I got absolutely RNG'd. Not much else I can do about that. Alright. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, well... We'll see if we get to do the thing this time. Because, uh... I mean, Glamour looks really strong here with the Meteor Beam. If it hits. Because apparently I just can't hit things. Already the first video. Or if... The first meteor beam of the of the video and I'm already missing, so that's fun. There is their own Murkrow. Something to consider here. But their whole team kinda doesn't like Goldengo coming in later and just hitting the bun in. Yeah, that's true. We might just do these two. Not sure. Bokorona. Bokorona deals with Amoongus, but I don't know if I care about a, that too much right now. Might just be Water Tauros instead. And then just these two. The back. Just to have, um... Some form of control, speed control if I need it. And Water Tauros is really good into like Harkonine, stuff like that. Man, that, that, that last battle was rough though. Not gonna lie, that last battle was rough. Okay, let's see. What does this thing do to me? Is a good question. I'm just gonna Meteor Beam. And Raging Bull. All of the day. Does he have a fighting move? If he has a fighting move, I'm gonna cry. He does. He missed though. Never mind, he didn't. He missed though. Hey, <laughs> finally, yes! Now don't miss yourself, uh, Glamora. I, I got a spiky shield. I don't know why he would. You never. You should never risk um, um, high jump kick. Because I, uh, I, I kind of forgot he gets high jump kick. I thought it was more like close combat or something. But uh, yeah, you don't want to you don't want to risk it. This this Merkur should not uh should not outspeed. All right, my energy's coming back. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, nice. I don't miss. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm cool with this. Two already gone right off the bat. Cause 
Uh, not only is it using Incinderace, it didn't do anything. <laughs> it crashed into the wall or something. That's no fun for him. Alright. Perfect. And you know what? I'm gonna go... Oh wait, is this thing... No, it's clear amulet. Nice, okay. I'm gonna go for a meteor beam. Again, for fun. So nothing's gonna stop me from hitting that meteor beam. I'm gonna throw a raging ball into this. Or maybe I should Terra. You know what? Sure, why not? Let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. It's funny. Oh, snap. He has head smash. Oh, just flat out one shots. <laughs> He's using so many moves that can miss. So I don't even feel bad. Like, it has. They have, like, really bad. It's scarfed. That is scarfed. Yeah. Oh no, it's not Scarf, it's Tailwind, right. I completely forgot about Tailwind. God damn it, why did I forget about Tailwind? We're fine though, it's not a big deal. I went for the Meteor Beam <laughs> twice. I could've just Spiky Shield, by the way, and Tailwind, but... I wanted to go for the Meteor Beam. The correct play was to just Sludge Bomb. Oh, I mean Spiky Shield and then switch into Mur get Murkrow in. But that's okay. We're just gonna go for... Oh, right, we're, we're kind of in this kind of issue though where I don't we're not faster though right so that's that's kind of a problem unless he scarfed into head smash then we're, we're fine if he scarfed into head smash we're fine if not then uh, that heads that head smash is oh wait that thing is reckless right I, I didn't see if it intimidated me the last time oh it it, it tarot fairy okay I was expecting a Terra Fire or something. Well, here comes the uh... Here comes my Tailwind. Yeah, I should've... Sp <laughs> I should've went for Spiky Shield and just let Tauros go and then get a Tailwind off. Because I think I would've been better off if I did that. Alright, well there's our Tailwind. Now it's the moment of truth if we even... Okay, we're, we're faster than Arcanine, okay. That I think seals the game then. No, it doesn't. Why? Are, what is with these things living at 1 HP? What is with everything living at 1 HP today? That's a choice spec steel Terra and, and it lived. That's crazy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely scar He's definitely um, banded. So that, that helps out uh, tremendously. Because I can just... Unless it was... Uh, no, I mean, even, even if he is... Um, we can go for the haze thing and just go for make it rain here. Yeah. Because uh even if he does take out Goldango, then we just win with the uh the Murkrow anyways, so we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> I almost threw the game. But <laughs> it would have been funny if we got the the meteor beam, okay? Alright, let's go to the next one. Okay, well this one's gonna be very, very, very frustrating to play against because we don't really have anything to deal with this. We really don't. We don't. 118 speed doubled is what? Two, 236. Lilligant reaches speeds up to... <laughs> They're going to go Lilico. And there's nothing I can do about it. You don't have Rage Powder? No. No Rage Powder either to stop the after you. Yeah. Uh, Kurt, you didn't think about this. <laughs> you didn't think about this with this team. How do you deal with Lilico on this team? You don't. You just lose. You absolutely just lose. All right, Kurt. Well, I'm about to show you why you should have a, a answer to Lilico. Because there's no one on this team that can that can outspeed it under under. We don't have rain. We don't have weather. We don't have redirection. We don't have anybody that can tank it. So. Honestly, this is looking really bad.
Oh yeah, this is really, really bad. I mean, we have fake out, but they can just protect and put me to sleep. All right? That doesn't help. I'll, I'll be I'll be quite honest, that doesn't help. Cuz they can just ghost Terra if they predict it. It's a 50/50. I don't like I don't like putting things up to 50/50s. Cuz you can just protect your Torkoal and go uh, uh, and um just let it happen. You know, stuff like that. What the heck? This is not what I was expecting. I'll be I'll be quite honest, this is not what I expected. Okay, I'm I'm uh going to go Dengo here. See what happens. He might protect, but if he protects, he protects. Not much I can do about that. Okay, I'm so confused right now. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's going for after you. Okay, I see what he's going for. He's going to go for after you here. That's fine. I think I know what I need to do here. Good damage. I think I spike his shield here and I just go for um, Rillaboom. I'm pray he doesn't switch into Torkoal mid 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 swing because otherwise we're gonna we're gonna be very sad. Because there's still there's still that option. He still has the option of going into Torkoal. I just don't want to get after you'd. Yep, there's after you. I don't know what what the point of the the whole th that was though. Okay, thanks. You got you got rid of you got rid of it for me. I'm cool with that. You got rid of it for me. I'm not I'm not complaining about that. You want to get rid of it for me? Go for it. Why didn't you start off with your trick room or something? I don't know. I mean, like you should have just went Lilico. That would have made more. That would have made the most sense here. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, Terra here. We're just gonna go straight for this guy. No questions asked here. We're just going straight for him. He brought the four wrong Pokemon. He had he had a clear way of winning this game, and he just for some reason went for this. Like just Lilico. What do I do? You know. I guess I could like one thing I could have done if he goes Lilico is bluff the uh, Rage Powder. That's one thing I could do. But that's all I can think of I could I could probably do. Please don't be steel. Please don't be steel. Okay, I can deal with ghost. Kinda, I think. Can deal with ghost. Yeah, that's why I went for this. I went for the for the grass terra just so I can bypass this ugly mushroom. Yeah, it's not gonna do a lot though. That's the only that's the only problem I'm having here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, nice. Yeah, you can rage fodder all you want, but uh, we're not letting that happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he rage quit. He had this game. He should have just went Nilico. He just, he's just a buffoon. That's all I gotta say. All right. Well, GG. All right. Well, this is not a team. It's not a regulation H team. That's for sure. Okay, fine. Clearly, you want to play your your thingies, huh? All right. Well, Goldengo's definitely not coming out. I don't know if I'll speed most of these things, but one thing's for sure: there's that ugly thing, and I don't want to deal with it. I think we go Glimora of Murkrow. We bring Rillaboom in the back because Rillaboom's really good into a couple of these things. 
The last one has to be Watoros. Uh, I guess Rillaboom isn't the best actually. It's more this, right? Pokemon's actually kind of good. Here. No, Pokemon's not that good here either. Uh, these three are just not good in this situation, but I think Rillaboom is just better for fake out pressure. It depends, I guess. It really depends. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna bring Goldengo in the back. I know it, it's it gets resisted pretty heavily, but if we can just dent things with Goldengo, that'll be perfectly fine too. I think we'll be in good shape with that. We might have to bust the Terra on the uh, on the Glamora if we see Urshifu. That's the only thing, and then we're weak to everything else, and that's a big problem. Yeah, there's there's Urshifu. Are we are we surprised? No. Heck no, we're not. Okay. Bust the Terra. And go for Meteor Beam. And just Tailwind. Keep it simple. We have to tell. We could probably just go for Sludge Bomb instead. And just hope that it doesn't like two. It's a two hit KO. Hold on. Let me let me Terra Sludge Bomb. And then Tailwind. We have to Terra because if we get hit by a close combat or a Surging Strike, if we get hit by a close combat then it's oh well. But this is just to stop the Surging Strike. I think Surging Strikes is enough to KO uh, Glamora. I wish we had like Energy Ball, but Earth Power honestly is better in this in this format. So <laughs> I would honestly rather have uh, that. Okay, it is a two hit. Yep, there's the, uh, there's the Surging. Nice. He's gonna poison his own mons too, so that's perfect. Well, not really. Well, he has a Moongus, but it's not the big end of the world. Critical hit, and now we have poison on on the side on their side of the field. Oh, they they support that slot. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a thing. We're just gonna go for another Sludge Bomb and switch into Goldango, I think. Yeah. Well, he's got Tailwind up, so that's actually really nice. Getting the Tailwind up is very, very big. Is this just KO? Yes, okay, nice. Urshifu's gone. That's big. That's actually really big. Oh yeah, Sludge Bomb on this thing too, okay. As long as we don't get poison, we're good. Okay, we're good. Kinda. Not really. Okay, he brought this thing out though. That's completely fine, I think. He has Lumberry on this thing. Of course someone has Lumberry on their, on their Haxorus. My bad. Okay, I'm gonna spiky shield here. And go for a make it rain. Yeah, fine. We have Tailwind up, we should be fine. I'm just gonna spike your shield. I haven't used my Meteor Beam anyway, so we're we're completely fine right now. We can we can definitely switch out if you need to. Oh that's some good damage. Really good damage. Oh yeah, use Sword Zens if you want, buddy. You're not living. You're not living to tell the tale, anyways. You're absolutely not staying alive. All right, I'm just gonna go for the uh, sludge bomb here. Go for another make it rain. We still have tailwind going, so uh, yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and just hit him with the with the make it rain again, and then get rid of uh, Mungus. Get rid of Amoongus, please. No sleep spammer. Mr. Sleepy Goose, goodbye. No more sleep sleep, alright? We have two things that you can't put asleep. So that's huge. Very big. I mean, he he could have protected there, honestly. Protect would have been fine for him to go for. What's this? Oh, okay. Another mold breaker. 
I'm gonna go into Watoros here and we're gonna switch out into Perk Crow as well. Just to reset the uh the make it rain stuff. We're most likely not faster than a a Ogre Pond though, that's the only dangerous part here. And we can't put up another Tailwind. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a rough one, but has he terrored? No, he hasn't terrored, so he's gonna terror this thing. Maybe we just keep swapping in and out. Yeah, he's gonna terror here. Just so we can get those drops on this Ogre Pond, because right now it's at plus zero. It's gonna be at plus zero because it's gonna get a plus one from its Ogre Pond, Ogre Pond Terra. But just completely fine. Uh oh. Okay, Kurt hangs on at least. Which is really nice. Alright. We are 165. This thing is adamant we outspeed. But just to play it safe, I'm gonna go into Goldengo. Goldengo is the most. the best one we can get rid of here. We're okay with losing Goldengo. Then we go back into um, Kurt, Kurt, if we live. Oh, perfect. Nice. He's playing way too passive here. That was way too passive for him. He can't, he can't risk that. Because otherwise poison will just take him anyways. Because now I go back into Wataros. Go for another Tailwind. And if we get the Tailwind up, then he just loses flat out. He flat out loses. So he, he should have not played um He has to play he has to actually like play out of his mind right now. And instead he went for spiky shield. Oh uh, yeah, I am I'm, I'm gonna stay asleep as as per usual with my luck. He's going for Ivy Kudja. Did I bait him into it? Yeah he did. Nice. Very nice. He's at minus one now. That spiky shield was pretty much seals the deal for him though. Cause I go back into Goldango, Tailwind, and he probably Cancels the battle right here. I would. Because uh, he's, he's lost too much resources. Okay, he's going to keep playing it up. I, I would. I would. Honestly, I would have. Uh, I commend him for... Like, I, I respect him for going, I guess, staying. Because at this point, he kind of lost a lot of resources. Oh god, I got the full three turns sleep. Jesus. Didn't fall for it this time, though. Oh, wait, did he? Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. It's fine. I go back into Tauros. Lower it back to now to minus two. Yep, now minus two. And it's just gonna keep this is just gonna keep happening until he goes down. So I'm just gonna do this. And now I just win. Because he can't I can aqua jet him actually. And it's over. Yep. But I was just playing out to my outs just in case and the poison was kind of racking up anyways. Like I said, he couldn't... He was on a timer so he couldn't play uh, play like that. So I'll take it. Alright, GG. Morrow's, honestly, good Morrow did so well there. Uh, the whole team did, honestly. Alright. Except for Murkrow, you, you dang sleepy son of a gun. Alright, let's go. Let's get on with it. Okay guys, well that's gonna be the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So yeah, we we got to do the Glamora stuff, we got to do the Godango stuff. We honestly got to do with the game plan. The game plan, we got to do it. All of them. So I'm cool with that. Every single thing that I mentioned, I got to do. Although the first one was really unlucky. I got really unlucky with that one. Sure I got lucky with the with the Wisp, but then I missed Meteor Beam. I missed Meteor Beam, I missed um the KO and Godango. It, it, it was just bad, especially with the crit on the Volcarona, which kind of sealed the deal for me because I kind of needed that. But that's okay. It happens. What else can you do? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. The Poker Paste and the rental code will be in the description below for you guys. If you guys want to use this team, this is a very solid, balanced team. You got Volcarona, you got Taros, you got Gamora, you got Goldengo. Gamora, honestly, is very, very good. But yeah, I the only problem is that you are going to struggle against Liko. Unless they're absolute buffoons and not saying that everything on this team kind of just gets blown up by, by, by that, like there's no there's no redirection, 
They can't tell. You can't tell when because Tailwind's not gonna do anything. I can guarantee you, you're not outspeeding Lilico under Tailwind because Chlorophyll gives you the uh, the the double in speed, and everything on your team is slower than than Hisu and Lilligant, anyways. So it's like it's like Lilligan is is under Tailwind already on turn one. So you're not outspeeding anything. So don't even don't even bother. If they if they catch on and see that your entire team has no real way of dealing with it besides maybe Volcarona, but we don't have Rage Powder, so there, there's that we got, we got to remember that. Otherwise, you just play. Uh, if we had Rage Powder here, literally all all we need is one move: Rage Powder. We Rage Powder, Tarot Grass. Oh, and we need Tarot Grass. We Tarot Grass and and, and Rage Powder, and then we just have Glamora Meteor Beam the the Torkoal, and you you're fine. Lilico's uh, whole thing is averted. Like you don't have to deal with Lilico anymore. So that's that's probably the only thing I would change on this team because you do need something for Lilico. Lilico is going to be everywhere. And same thing with our Chaladon. But I think this team could deal with a Chaladon pretty f just fine. You can like get Taros out, make it you know force a Terra on it because it's gonna be fearing the close combat. So there's stuff there's stuff to do you can do with it. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.